Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's uh, class. Our textbook is uh, Weekend 1, and today, inshallah, we will cover Unit 3, Feelings and Things, Rhythm and Sounds, on page uh, 21. This lesson will be presented by me, Teacher Mazra Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Ragil. So let's begin. Quick revision in our last lesson. In our last lesson, after we got to know uh, about feelings, and also we did learn two important questions about feelings. And just to remind ourselves of this question, we said that if you want to ask someone about any feeling, whether if you want to say uh, the feeling of being hungry or being happy or being sad, so any uh, type of feeling, as we have learned last lesson, you should start your question with, are you? So for example, you can uh, go to someone and says, are you happy? Or are you sad? Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? And you can think of any feeling as long you start your question with, are you? And we also learned that uh, when you have the answer or when you uh, uh, listen to the answer that says, yes, I am, then you don't follow with a question. But when you hear the answer, no, I am not happy, for example, then there is another question we said we should use. Can you remember what that question is? Of course it is what's the matter what's the matter which means what's the problem so you said you're not happy so what's the matter what's the problem why are you not happy and then we can we said uh, last time in this conversation we uh, listened to different problems of why we're not being or the person is not happy he said that i'm hungry and my friend is thirsty, and so on. And after this, we did uh, read the uh, different feelings, six different feelings, and we matched them with the faces of each of these uh, feelings. So now, what we have to do also, last lesson, we said that we did listen to a chant, and this chant was all about asking questions was all about asking questions about uh, different uh, feelings. So let's, me and you, try to remind ourselves of this chant and after this we can highlight some of the important words that uh, we uh, came across from this chant. So remind ourselves with the chant of our last lesson which is called Rhythms and Sound. So let's listen. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Are you happy? Are you sad? So here in the first part of this chant, all of these uh, six or five questions are about feeling. For example, the first question here we have, are you hungry? Hungry is a feeling. Also, another question about feeling, which is, Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Thirsty is also a feeling. Also, are you happy? Happy is also a feeling. And the last feeling we have here is, Are you sad? Sad is also a feeling. So we said that we can ask about any of these feeling, uh, feelings as long as we start our question with, are you? So now let's listen to the second part of this chant. What's the matter? What's the matter? They are all hungry. They are all sad. So here, when we ask someone about a feeling and when he or she says that they have this feeling, then there is a, another question that we have learned, 
from the conversation, the previous conversations, which is, what's the matter? Which means, what's the problem? Why, for example, why are you sad? Or why you are not happy? Or why you are scared? Or why you are hungry? So here where we said, what's the matter? So let's continue the chant. Who is angry? Who is scared? She is angry and she is scared. So we have, in last chant, we have learned another question, which is the question that starts with who. And when we use who in a question, we're looking for a person. For example, who is angry? Well, she is angry. And who is scared? She is scared. When we start our question with who, we are looking for people. We are looking for people. Let's continue the chant. Who is sleepy? Who is bored? He is sleepy and he is bored. What's the matter? What's the matter? We are all happy. We are all well. And the same goes here. Here we also ask about a person. In this case, who is sleepy? Who feel the need to go sleep? And also, who is bored? Bored means not happy nor sad. You are not doing any activities. This is why you are bored. And also, when we listen to different feelings, it is important that we ask people about the problem and how we ask them about the problem by saying this question, what's the matter? So this is all about our chant that we have learned from last lesson. So now, after reading this chant and after explaining some of the questions and words, Let's me and you try to chant it one more time together. So we're going to chant it one more time together before we uh, move on. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Are you happy? Are you sad? What's the matter? What's the matter? They are all hungry. They are all sad. Who is angry? Who is scared? She is angry and she is scared. Who is sleepy? Who is bored? He is sleepy and he is bored. What's the matter? What's the matter? We are all happy. We are all well. Very good. And after this, we said that you can make a new chant. And how can you make a new chant? By changing the words. Instead of saying, who is sleepy, you can say, who is thirsty. Instead of saying, who is bored, you can say, who is happy. So you can change these feelings with the new feelings, and then you will have a new chant. So now, let's get to know our objectives in today's lesson. At the end of this lesson, we hope that you will be able to chant and ask, are you, he, or she, or we, or they, and get the answers, and also to listen, read, and to answer some of the questions uh, correctly. And to do this, I would like you please to open your books on page 21. I'd like you please to open your books on page 21. Now, on page 21, we have a story that is called, this is Kinan. And what we're going to do with this story is that we're going to listen to each part of this story twice. And when we listen, we need to circle the answer that we heard in this story. So, for example, as you can see here, here we have options or choices that we need to choose one for.
from each of them. And after we do this, we need to circle the right answer. And when we answer, when we write the, or when we circle the right answer, now it is time for us to, it is time for us to listen to it again and also read it uh, together. Okay? So, the first part here, we're going to listen to the first part of this story. And for the first time, we won't do anything. We're only going to listen. And for the second time, we're going to listen and circle the right answer from this first part. So let's begin listening. This is Kinan. This is Kinan. He is 10. He is a very happy boy. Now let's listen one more time and this time pay attention. We need to circle the right answer. So here we have two answers, 10 and 9. Circle the answer that you heard. And also here we have happy and hungry. Circle the answer that you heard when you are listening. So let's listen one more time. This is Kinan. He is 10. He is a very happy boy. Very well. Now, let's try to circle the right answers. This is Kinan. So, what did you listen? Did you listen that he is 10 or he is 9? Of course, we did listen that he is 10. So here we go. We circle the first one. He is 10. What about the next one? He is a very happy boy or he is a very hungry boy. Of course, it is also the first one. He is a happy boy. He is a happy boy. So this is the first part of this chant. Let's read it. Since we did the first part, we answered the first part. Now let's read it with the right answers. Again, this is Kinan. This is Kinan. He is 10. He is a very happy boy. Very good. Now let us move on to the second part. So here we have the second part of this story. And as we did with the first part, here we need to listen for the first time. For the second time, we're going to listen and circle the right answers. So here we have two choices, Tim and Tom, and also we have big and uh, small. So let's listen. This is his parrot. His name is Tim. Tim is big and fat. Now let's listen for the last time and this time. Be careful that you need to circle. This is his parrot. His name is Tim. Tim is big and fat. So what do you think? Let's start answering and circling the answers. This is his parrot, the parrot of Kinan, and his name. Did you listen to Tim or Tom? It is, of course, Tim. So here we go. We circle the word Tim. Let's continue. Did we say Tim is uh, big and fat or small and fat? We said Tim is big and fat. So here we go. We circle big. We circle big. Very good. Now let us move on to the last part of this chant. As we said, we're going to listen twice. The first time, listen only for listening. The second time, listen 
and start circling the right answer. He is blue and orange. And he is hungry all the time. Kenan and Tim are good friends. One more time. He is blue and orange. And he is hungry all the time. Kenan and Tim are good friends. So, now here we have two words. Angry and hungry. So, what did we say? Did we say that he is, Tim, is angry all the time or hungry all the time? The right answer is that he is hungry all the time. So here we go. We circle the word hungry. Hungry all the time. And now Kinan and Tim are good friends. So this is about our story and the right answers for our story. Now we will have one more thing to do, which is to answer these questions based on this story. So, after listening to this story, can you tell how old is Kinan? How old is Kinan? Is he 10 or 9? Of course, Kinan is 10. He is 10. Question number two. Is Kinan happy or sad? Is Kinan happy or sad? So what did the story say? He is happy. Kinan is happy. This is answer number two. Now let us move on to number three. What color is Tim? What color is Tim, the parrot? What color is he? He is blue and orange. He is blue and orange. What about number four? Is Tim thirsty? In the story, did we read that uh, Tim is thirsty? The answer is no. He is hungry. Tim is hungry, not thirsty. So here you go. These are the answers of these four questions. So at the end, it is important that you can chant this chant and also to listen and answer some questions correctly. So now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.